Hi, my name is Hannah and welcome to my presentation on benzyl apyrene. In this presentation, I will go over what benzyl apyrene is. I will also cover the hazard identification, exposure assessment, dose response assessment, risk characterization, and how to prevent against benzyl pyrene. What is benzyl apyrene? Benzyl apyrene is a pale yellow crystal formed during incomplete combustion of organic materials. Benzyl apyrene is classified as a polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbon, usually occur as complex mixture, not as single compound. This chemical can be found in nature from eruption of volcanoes and forest fire. Benzyl apyrene is a known potent mucigen and carcinogen. Hazard identification. What are the health effects that benzyl apyrene can cause? Benzyl apyrene has a negative effect on the reproductive system, nervous system, immune system, and it is a carcinogen. Studies have shown that male rats exposed to BAP generally reduce the function of testicles and they lower their sex steroid. Another study shows that pregnant rats eating BAP were shown to negatively affect the brain function in the late life of their offspring. BAP has an effect on the number of white blood cells inhibiting some of them from differentiating into microphages, the body's first line of defense to fight infection. Exposure assessment. What exposure are currently experienced or anticipated under different conditions? There are many ways that you can be exposed to benzyl apyrene. The most common exposure is through inhalation. People who deals with coals, asphalt, wood, or plant burning are likely to get exposed occupationally. Indoor exposure is common too. Indoor exposure occurs from smoking cigarettes and having either a wood burning fireplaces or stoves. Another way to get exposed to benzyl apyrene is through skin contact with either contaminated air, waters, or soil near waste sites. The chemical can be absorbed into your skin, causing skin cancer. You will be exposed to BAP if you eat grow or charred meat and vegetable, or just eating any contaminated food, such as processed food or pickle food, can get you exposed to BAP. Drinking contaminated water or cow's milk is also another way to get exposed to BAP. The full effect of BAP on human is unknown. Most studies are done on rodents, but from these studies, we can see that BAP affects rodents at a low level. There are short-term exposure and long-term exposure of BAP. Short-term health effect can be a skin rash or eye irritation with redness or a burning sensation. Exposure to sunlight and the chemical together can increase these effects. Long-term health effect can be deadly. Benzyl apyrene is a cancer-causing agent in humans. There is some evidence that it causes skin, lung, and bladder cancer in humans and in animals too. If benzyl apyrene is on your skin when you are being exposed to sunlight or UV light, the risk of skin cancer is greater. Repeated exposure to substance containing benzyl apyrene may cause the skin to thicken and darken, and for pimples to appear. Risk characterization of BAP. There is no known industry production or use of benzyl apyrene. Benzyl apyrene can be found in surface water, tap water, Rainwaters, groundwaters, wastewaters, 
and sewage slug. Man may release a benzoapyrene or to the air where the sunlight turns the chemical into a dry form that falls to the ground and breaks down in the soil. This chemical results from burning plants, wood, coats, and operating vehicles. The major indoor sources of BAP in the air are wood burning fireplaces and stove and tobacco smoking. EPA began regulating benzoate pyrene in 1994 and set the maximum contamination level in our drinking water. Every day we are exposed to benzoate pyrene, whether we like it or not. However, there are things that we can do to limit the amount of exposure. We can start by eating less, char and grill meats and vegetables. Avoid eating pickled food or processed food, such as flowers, cereals, and bread. Make sure to wear protective clothing if you work in workplaces that deal with colds, wood, or plant burning. And avoid staying around people who smoke cigarettes because cigarettes contain benzoapyrene. Benzoapyrene is also found in our drinking water, so be sure to test your drinking water and make sure that the benzoapyrene is below the maximum contamination levels set by EPA. Thank you for watching my presentation on benzoapyrene. I hope you learned a few things about this chemical. Thank you.